Tom Bruchane, and today I want to take a look at the potential energy of a steel ball as it changes into kinetic energy as it rolls down a track. Now there's a couple of variables that we can change here, so let's take a closer look at the experiment. The materials needed are rather simple. We have a long ramp that the ball is going to roll down, prop it up on a book, and if that's not available, you can simply use a ruler. And here we have the three balls that are going to roll down the ramp. There are different sizes. Uh, two are metal and one is glass. Next is the catch cup. It's cut from a juice container. Uh, you can see the lines that I cut here and this will give us two of them. That leaves the one end open and the other end still has the bottom attached to it. The idea is that the cup will measure the amount of energy that the ball has from rolling down the ramp by the distance the ball is able to push it across the table or floor. The first variable to test is changing the mass, so we've accomplished this by using three different size balls. The second variable we're going to change is the height of the ramp. That's accomplished by taking a second or third book and adding it to the pile so that the ball is starting from a higher height. The two meter sticks will be used to measure the distance the cup moves and also keep it from turning around. In some cases, if the cup goes beyond it, we simply add a second pair to make the track longer. This group decided to use the wall as part of their experiment. Now during this experiment, I had a few students question whether the balls actually accelerate to the same speed by the time they reach the bottom of the ramp. So we decided to make this part of the problem. For this final part, students had to design their own experiment and come up with proof of whether the balls are accelerating at the same rate. I had some students time each ball to determine their average acceleration. We found two tracks to be inconclusive. After testing the balls, we'd reverse the tracks, try it again, and get different results. Another possibility was to look at their parabolic curves. Since we had studied this concept earlier, some students had figured that the faster the ball's moving would cause the ball to land further away from the table. Students found that each ball landed consistently at the same spot on the floor and they would mark it. But when they compared the marks, they did find a significant difference between one ball to the next. The final method was to try rolling two or three balls down the same track at once. This gave us visual proof that the larger balls are accelerating at a higher rate down the track than the smaller ones. So why is this the case? Our hypothesis is that it makes a difference where that ball is supported on the wooden ramp. A closer inspection of where the ball is supported does give us some clues as to the results of this test. Now I have some students that are going to do some more investigations and see if they can come up with a definite answer. So this was our potential kinetic energy track experiment. I hope you found it interesting. And come back and see me again because I have other things I want to show you. Okay, bye.